What's going on guys, it's Screech here with another episode of Scrub League. The rules are on the screen right now, you can go ahead and pause to read those. As well as that, the deck that we are playing, which is Cyber Dragons, is also on the screen right now. You can pause to see that as well. And we're here. So, Burner Abyss, a deck I've not played against for a very long time. Anyway, without further ado, do 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 do, we are going to get into it. So, uh, we lost the dice roll, but still opt to go second, which is nice. He's going to go ahead and start here by special summoning Rubik and normal summoning the Graph. From then, he's going to go ahead and make a Cherubini, and the effect of Graph will activate, allowing him to get a Seer from deck. From there, he's looking like he's in the races, and we are going to go ahead and activate Ogre in response to the effect of Cherubini. He uses the effect of Cherubini to protect. We go to Vela, however, the protection is not an effect, so it's kind of not worth doing so he lets me go back here and we continue to resolve a little bit of lag and then he goes ahead and sends a C archiver the effect of C will activate allowing him to summon it and the effect of Seahawk activates as well allowing him basically to make free Dante and of course Bird in Abyss do like the free Dantes opt in here to only mill one and he goes ahead and mills a Libic not really much more he can do other than go ahead and discard his copy of Skarm to rank up into a Beardress. He sets a mysterious card and passes over to us. On the end phase he does get the effect of Skarm, allowing him to add Tor Guide to hand. We go ahead and draw and on the standby he goes ahead and activates Eteli, allowing him to summon a Ogre straight from his deck. We go ahead, and go ahead and discard Hertz, summoning out Nashta and Hertz will allow us to add Cyber Dragon to our hand. Nashter will go ahead and contact Fuse into a Mega Fleet, and we're going to go ahead and go into the battle phase and opt to be over the Ogre here. After some thinking, he goes ahead and uses the effect, allowing him to send a copy of Aldich, Ald Aldich? Aldich to hand? Uh, from Debt to Grave, uh, basically negating the Mega Fleet, putting it to zero, and of course, summoning a Skarm as well. We go ahead and set a couple of mysterious cards and pass. Uh, we question if it's permanently negated, and it is on the permanent negate. He's going to go ahead and add a bar to hand. He's going to go ahead and draw Farfa for turn, and go ahead and tour guy. We're going to go ahead and veil that, which he is fine with, as he goes ahead and goes into yet another Cherubini. The mandatory effect to protect is, of course, uh, where I was going to go with this. I was going to go ahead and impermit and overflow both of the things on field right now. But it wouldn't have worked. He's going to go ahead and get the effect of Ebon, allowing him to send Calab from the deck. Effect of Calab, we're going to go ahead and Vela the Beatrice here, and he's going to go ahead and chain it, allowing him to send some more things. He sends Seer, he sends Farfa, Farfa's effect, and Seer's effect will all go ahead and trigger. Oh, sorry, not Sam, Farfa, Scam. And he's going to go ahead and summon a bunch of things here, and go ahead and allow him to make another Dante going to detach this time opting to use its effect for three milling three and poking for a lot of damage right here putting me down to what we thought was 25 until he realizes that scam also gains it put me down to a whole 16 here we still have a cyber dragon hunt which means we can still make a mega fleet and we also drew hurts which is also nice we're going to go ahead and contact fuse both of these into a mega fleet and then overflow banishing two to pop the remainder of the field He's going to go ahead and get a big chain link of three, allowing him to add a seer to hand, summon out a Dante, and summon what I like to call Fabulous Dante. He does look fabulous. Anyway, from there, we're going to go ahead and normal summon Hertz, and go ahead and contact into a Ziga, and he is going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the effect of Hertz, allowing me to add the other copy of Hertz, go into the battle phase, and attack, and go and attempt to activate his effect, but before the damage step, he activates the effect of this, allowing him to discard and draw, and then allowing him to get rid of Farfa and banish it for the turn. On the end phase, it does come back. For turn, he's going to draw Fiendish Winder, Rhino Warrior, and he's going to go ahead and use the effect again, this time drawing a copy of this. He's going to go ahead and revive back the Farfa, get the Barbar, make a Dante, detach the Farfa, banish the Ziga, and that is literally how game one goes. Doesn't matter what he milled at that point, it was over for us. Um, we have the choice now. We side a bunch of going first cards in and opt to go first. And we draw the Holy Grail himself, Cyberstein. Now, after Cyberstein in here, using its effect and summoning out the last warrior, I instantly realised this just was not the play. 
he's going to have so many monsters to set that you can probably stall forever. Farfa will eventually banish it, or he'll probably smash and ground it, and it's probably not the play to go for. However, I felt with the Phantasmate and the Ghost Bell, this was kind of the play. Anyway, he's going to go ahead and set one, and the attacking begins. We're going to go ahead and poke over the first thing. He's going to go ahead and set one, and the attack again. And literally, this is all that's going to happen for the majority of this game. We draw Machine Dupe. It's not looking bad. And here's where it all goes down the hill. Foolish Burial will activate, sending Farfa, banishing the thing for the turn. He's going to go ahead and get Barbar here. And he's going to then go ahead and trigger the effect of Libic in hand. And oh my god, that is perfectly 3,000 damage. Well... We just sort of give him a free win there, and that sort of was not the play to go for. But oh well, we played well um, throughout the rest of the tournament, so we still can afford a couple of mistakes here and there, but we can't have that happening again later in the week. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. It has been Screech playing against Burning Abyss with the Saturn deck in the Scrub League. If you like this video, you should probably comment and subscribe. We try to upload this well as much as we can, i.e. as much as when the tournament lets us. we got one more game this week, however, it might not be played this week as he has some technical issues going on. But as soon as we get that game played, I'll get it commentated over, edited and uploaded as fast as I can. It's been your boy Screech, guys. I will see you when I see you. Peace.